honestly, everyone in the community needs to know what a child advocacy center is. And the reason I say that is because you don't know what issues are even going on in your own home. Some of our children suffer in silence, and it could be your child that either has gone through some things, is going through some things, or will have to go through some things. And it is a wonderful source for, uh, for kids to be able to address, um, disclose, and be able to get their story out, because that's the beginning of healing. We ensure children are heard, supported, and protected after instances or concerns of child abuse for children and teens in Walton and Newton counties. We work as part of a multidisciplinary team with partners from law enforcement, the Department of Family and Children's Services, mental health, medical, the school system, prosecution, juvenile court, to provide a coordinated response to children and teens after they've experienced abuse so that it's a better, less traumatic experience for them. With criminal cases uh, invo involving children, um, almost all of them involve some role of the Child Advocacy Center um, here in Social Circle, and they are a huge part of the prosecution because that is often in trial. While the child, for the most part, does still have to come into court and testify, we also get, get to play their interview. Um, and, you know, the way the criminal justice system works, there's a built-in delay in things, and so sometimes things go to trial two years after um, you know, the investigation started, and so having that interview that happened real close in time to either the event or when the disclosure happened um, is a major part of any sort of trial. So when a child makes a disclosure, we have a child abuse protocol in place in the county, and that is um, put together and followed by all of the major partners who are going to be serving the family and trying to protect the child in that situation of a disclosure of abuse of some sort. Um, the goal of that protocol is to keep the child from making that disclosure repeatedly. So they don't have to tell their story more times than is absolutely necessary. So once that happens and we're notified, then we partner with law enforcement. Then we partner with the Apathy Center um, to get them scheduled for an interview and any other resources that the family can use to get through that trauma or that situation in their life. And then we also all come to the table, the school, um, law enforcement, our agency, the DA's office, the Apathy Center, and we can discuss that situation what has happened to the child. Everyone can share information that they have so that we're all on the same page and we can come up with the best solution um, from there. And one of the good things about a lot of these cases being a team effort is that you realize and you work day in and day out with law enforcement, DFACs, the Child Advocacy Center, and you see that they all have the same goal and they're all working towards doing the best possible thing um, for the children involved in these cases. Um, and, and so it is that they have that ultimate, you know, good heart while working on such difficult cases. And, it, and it's draining, you know, if, if you're doing nothing but these sort of cases day in, day in and day out, it is, it is very, very tough. Um, and ultimately, you know, there's a lot of hard decisions to be made in some of these cases, um, but everyone's working towards the same ultimate goal is making sure children are safe and that justice is done. The work we do is hard as staff. The partners we work with have to hear really hard things from kids as young as three sometimes. And so support in whatever way, tangible, financial, but especially through prayer of praying for our kids and their courage to talk about what's happened to them, to tell somebody what's happened for the first time, for our partners who are having to respond and hear difficult things for the juries who hear our cases and don't know that this has happened and then they have to listen to days of testimony about this abuse incident. Just in general, recognizing that this issue happens, taking steps to protect kids in your life, believing kids if they tell you something has happened, and just being mindful of ways you can get involved too protect kids, support our center, support our partners, law enforcement, DFACS, prosecution, anybody you know who's doing the hard work to protect kids, paying attention to them and supporting them really goes a long way.